Welcome to Pemby's Picks. I'm Elijah McEwen from the city of Pembroke. This is our weekly e-newsletter of things to check out, experience, see, or do in the city of Pembroke. You can sign up to get this email directly to your inbox every single week at pembroke.ca. And we do this in video form thanks to our friends right here at your TV each week as well. In this continued time of physical distancing, Pemby wants to help you out with ideas of things that you can still do in Pembroke. Stay healthy, everyone. Number one, enter our Garden Accomplishments Contest. If you have created a garden in your yard this summer that you're proud of, we want to hear from you. Introducing the Garden Accomplishments Contest, sponsored by Hubert Spring Hill Nursery. Here's how it works. Send us a photo of your flower bed, planter, or vegetable garden that you have created this summer due to your newfound free time. Submit your photo to recreation at pembroke.ca or send it to us on Facebook by Messenger at the City of Pembroke. Your garden must have been completed by you and your family or friends and not by a professional. The deadline to enter is Monday, August 24th at 4 p.m. And then from August 25th to September 1st, the public will be able to vote on their favorite garden project. One prize will be awarded to the winner of the flower division and one will be awarded to the vegetable division. Let's see those beautiful gardens. I can't wait to see what shakes out. Number two, apply for Pembroke's COVID-19 business support grant. The city of Pembroke has launched a new grant under the community improvement plan. The COVID-19 business support grant is for renovation, construction, or signage costs related to COVID-19 health and safety measures. Businesses can get up to $2,500 for costs spent after March 17, 2020. You can check out all the details at pembroke.ca or see the link on screen. Number three, enjoy a donation barbecue at No Frills. Steven and Julie's No Frills at 1200 Pembroke Street West, that's in the West End Mall, is holding a donation barbecue Thursday, August 20th from 11.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. They're gonna have 50-50 tickets with the proceeds going to the Bernadette McCann House, a raffle draw and donations with those going to the Boys and Girls Club, the wheel from Joe's Family Pizzeria, which will be sanitized between each person. You can take your chance to spin and win, and my FM on location with the Fill the Boat food drive. Come out for some food while supporting many amazing local charities. Number four, recharge at Yoga in the Park. Yoga in the Park is continuing to happen every Wednesday this August from 6 to 7 p.m. at the waterfront. Like we've told you, registration is required through White Pine Yoga if you want to attend. There's a strict 100 person limit per week. Register your spot online before those spots are filled. They're going fast every single week, so get on that as soon as possible. When you register, you're asked to sign in when you arrive at the tent at the waterfront before you set your mat down. Lawn markers are provided to ensure that everyone stays six feet apart. Masks are encouraged to be worn for those attending the event, but you can remove them once you have placed your mat. For questions or more information, call the Parks and Rec Department at 613-735-6821, extension 1501, or call White Pine Yoga at 613-629-9642. Number five, give back with Yoga for a Cause. Do you need more yoga to fill your week? White Pine is hosting an additional night Thursday, August 20th from six to seven at the waterfront as a fundraiser for the Robbie Dean Family Counseling Center. You can get all the, all the info on that night, including the great raffle prizes available on the event's Facebook page. Check that out. Number six, check out our business spotlight on the Champlain Trail Museum. This week's business spotlight is focused on the Champlain Trail Museum and Pioneer Village. COVID-19 has not slowed down the museum. 
While they initially needed to close their doors, they opened back up in June and have not looked back. You can now visit the Champlain Trail Museum Monday to Friday during scheduled time slots at 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., and 3 p.m. These time slots allow museum staff to ensure safe physical distancing and sanitize the space in between visitors. The museum now has 613 Wednesdays, where visitors can tour for half price every Wednesday, and Thank You Thursdays, where frontline workers receive free admission. If you want to experience the museum without a full visit, you can do so with their new Museum in a Box, offered this summer and fall. Through this program, parents can rent a box for a week for $15 per child. The box comes equipped with supplies and instructions for heritage activities, crafts, and recipes for children to try at home. The boxes are customized to the age of the child and offer a great opportunity for your child to learn something new. If you're a parent interested in renting a box, you can contact the museum at 613-735-0517 or email them at curator at Champlain Trail Museum. Com. And hey, if you're a teacher, stay tuned for rentable classroom size boxes this autumn. Be sure to follow them on Facebook and Instagram using at Champlain Trail Museum to stay up to date on what is going on at the museum. There's so much exciting stuff going on there. And finally, number seven, see a movie at Algonquin Cinemas. Algonquin Cinemas inside the Pembroke Mall has reopened as of last week, giving you an opportunity to check out new films on the big screen. Presently, the SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run, Unhinged and Irresistible are available for your viewing pleasure with more great movies coming soon. If you have information that you'd like to see shared in Pemby's Picks, send it to us by emailing tourism at pembroke.ca. For the city of Pembroke, I'm Elijah McEwen. You can always sign up for Pemby's Picks on pembroke.ca.